all. It's a little after seven. Um, I had a few technical difficulties with my Facebook, but we're here now. It's a little after seven. It's time for Scuba Tune In Tuesday with Easy Divers. My name is Chris. I also go by Tater Bell. Tonight's topic is um, Fish ID. So let's get started, especially since we're a little late. Okay, when you, um, I want you to think like a investigator on crime scene, on CSI reef, coral reef. Let me start again. I want you to think like an investigator on CSI coral reef. You want to know when you see a fish you don't recognize, you want to know what does it look like? Where was it going? What was it doing? Who was it with? All that kind of information is going to give you clues on what kind of fish it is. So let's get started. So you've seen this fish. Well, what did it look like? What was its shape? Now, let me qualify these pictures that I have. My printer didn't do the right colors, so that colors are not accurate. I'm going to post these later on, on I mean, afterwards on our Facebook page, so you'll see what the fish really, really looks like. Um, this is a French angelfish, and um, it has a round or oval um, disc shape. Um, there are other fish similar that have similar shapes, body styles, body shapes as the um, as an angelfish. That would be like a butterfly fish, a damselfish, a sergeant major. They're, they're smaller. That's something you need to consider, the size of the fish. The, 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 the butterflies and the damsels are smaller than the, than the angelfish, but they still have that kind of oval round body shape. Okay, another shape you'll see is a um, long or narrow, not narrow, but torpedo or pipe-like shape. This is a great barracuda. Other fish that have the same body style would be um, jacks and mackerels. Another body shape that you'll see is uh, kind of a, it's called, I, I call it like a heavy body or a thick body. See how this, this is, this is a tiger grouper and he's got this thick body as compared to the barracuda, which was more narrow. This is long. Um, Groupers are really, really big. Other fish that have this same body style or body shape would be like a fairy basslet, basslet or a parrot. Now, I just said these groupers are pretty big, but a fairy basslet's only like two inches long, but it has the same body shape as the grouper. So that's something to look for. Okay, so we've talked about a couple of body shapes that you might see underwater. The other thing you need to think about is it's uh, the fish's fins and tail. All right, so this is a porcupine fish. You can see he's got this pretty unique tail back here and his fins are toward the back of the fish close to his tail. Well, if you see a hawkfish, you'll see it's completely different. It's thin, it's got this big fin up here really close to the top front of its head, front of the body of like his forehead and his tail is completely different. So when you're thinking about trying to identify a fish, you think of the body shape, you think of its fins and its, and its tail because those are very telltale signs. All right, so we've talked about body shape and we've talked about fins and tails. So here comes the answer to the question posed earlier. We look at markings, colors and markings. So earlier this week, I posted this picture of this fish. This is a Sergeant Major, and this is a French grunt. The Sergeant Major does not have stripes. It has bars. The bars are vertical. Stripes are horizontal. Now, how I remember the difference between bars and stripes is I think of a jail. When you're in a jail and you're in a cell, the bars are vertical. That's how I remember that. That's the difference between a bars, bars and stripes. So you want to look at their colors. Does the fish have spots? Does he have bars? Does he have stripes? Other things that might give you a clue what kind of family or what kind of fish this might be. Now, right, we've talked about what he looks like, his size, his shape, 
his colors, his markings. Now, what was he doing? Was he in a school or was he like this yellowhead jawfish hanging out in the sand? Jawfish live in the sand. They have, they burrow down, they have these little holes and they come up like this looking around. So the jawfish uh, is, in the, is in the sand, but then the trumpet fish is over here long and narrow hanging out with the sea whips. So that's the thing. Those are other things that help you identify what kind of fish you're looking at. All right, so we've talked about um, shape, fins, tails, colors, markings, where they're, who their friends are, who they're hanging out with. But there's one thing that's interesting about fish is that when they're babies or juveniles, they don't necessarily look the same as they do when they're grown up. So what's this fish going to be when it grows up? This is a, sp a spotted drum. So that's what he looks like when he grows up. He's very little here. He's, he, this picture you can't tell, but he's very tiny. He flits around. He's got these enormous fins. About the only thing that's the same are his colors and this giant fin. Everything else is pretty different. So he looks very different you know, as a juvenile and an adult. So those are just a few things that, um, you know, just a few tips to help you figure out what kind of fish you're looking at if you do your investigation as a CSI coral reef. Um, you can learn more about how to identify a fish in the PADI fish ID specialty class. We offer this class all the time. Um, it's a, it does require a couple of ocean dives and um, this is a great specialty to do while you're on the Juliet or on your Honduras trip or any ocean trip. I mean, because you're going to come in off the wall, out of the water, and you're going to be going to the fish ID books and looking to figuring out what was that fish I just saw. So why not get credit and earn the specialty while you're doing it? So you can find out about our Patty Fish ID specialty on our website, easydiversmemphis.com, or you can give us a call, 901-753-2926. Um, we have that specialty and many other patty specialties that are easy to do when you go out on, um, go on ocean trips, when you go to the quarries and anything like that. So um, that's about it. Like I said, I will post these pictures on Facebook afterwards so you can see the real colors. I apologize for being a little late with my te technical difficulties, but Follow us, uh, check our website out, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we've got uh, videos on YouTube. Thanks for coming tonight. We'll see you next week. Bye.